I'm pretty excited today. We're actually doing something different. We are trading channels. I'm trading a channel today with Jamie, Reviews by Jamie, and she's going to be doing um, something that I would normally do. She'll be doing organizing and I'll be doing makeup reviews, which is a little terrifying because I'm terrible at makeup, but here we go. So one of the products she recommended that I try, that she's tried on her channel that's been really popular, are Baby Lips. Baby Lips are a um, like a tinted lip balm. They're really, really moisturizing. And my favorite is Cherry Pie. So it definitely looks really red, but when you put it on, it just leaves a little hint of that color. Makeup reviews are awkward. <laughs> I don't know how they do it. But anyways, um, or like makeup tutorial channels, I'm just, it's, it's nerve wracking. So anyway, here you go. You can see it just gives you a little hint of color. Um, it's really, really moisturizing. And best part, it's $3. So I've tried other sort of a tinted moisturizer in the past, tinted chapstick, sorry, lip balm in the past. I find this lasts really, really long. So $3, love this product. It's made by Maybelline. And um, I'm giving it a thumbs up. Baby lips. Maybelline. Another product that she has reviewed, Jamie has reviewed, and recommended that I try is this Instant Age Rewind um, Concealer. It's for dark circles under your eye. Not overly impressed with the first thing I bought. It's broken. It's supposed to click and come to the surface. I bought two, a brightener and then an under eye concealer, and it was broken right out of the package. Craziness. The other thing I'm not loving is the sponge thing at the end. So it's got a little sponge thing only because I don't feel like I should put the same sponge on my eye all the time. <laughs> Jeremy. So what I did instead was dabbed a little bit on a clean hand. I just washed my hand, dabbed a little bit there and then used some and I'll show you just dabbing. I, I learned not to rub. It causes more wrinkles and trust me, that's the last thing I need is more wrinkles. Um, so you're just dabbing it underneath. Now I don't have a <laughs> I'm doing this without a mirror. So, um, looking at the camera there. So let's see how it's working. Can you see? Is it actually even doing anything at all? I don't know. <laughs> and I also heard that when you're applying it, um, you should make like a triangle when you're applying concealer under your eye. Anyways, you have the concealed eye and the unconcealed eye. What I found was there's a couple of good things about it, and the good things about this product are it's pretty inexpensive. It's around $10, which is a good price, and it doesn't cake, which I really like, so it's really light. I don't find it has a ton of coverage, as you can see. There, not really a ton of difference. So there isn't, for me, I find a ton of coverage. I'm old. <laughs> I, I need a lot of coverage. So I have tried another similar product called Rimmel's, Rimmel, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, called Perfect Match in the past. I find this one has a little bit more coverage, but my favorite concealer has got to be the MAC, MAC Cover Up Concealer. It comes in a little thing like this. It is more money, but um, it lasts a super long time. I think it's around $25. The coverage on this is un freaking believable. Plus it's really like a waterproof, like it's here, sorry. And now I'm just putting it on here and putting it on here so you can see the difference. I wear a 20, but now that I'm tanned, I should probably wear a 25. So it's a little bit later than it should be. But I just really like this product for the coverage. I didn't blend it, I just dabbed it. So let's, let's hope that's working out. But uh, you can hopefully see that maybe this is concealing the dark circle under the eye better than the other one. So for me, if you're going to splurge on a concealer under the eye or anywhere concealer for $10, I just don't think this is even close to the $20 that you'd spend on the MAC. The MAC is far superior for here. So I'm going to give this... Sorry. Sorry, Maybelline. That's a thumbs down. 
So last but not least, I thought I would review mascara. I'm always on the hunt for a great mascara. I've yet to really find a fantastic one, but let's talk about some of my favorites. First of all, I wanted to try this L'Oreal Voom, Voom, Voluminous, Voluminous, <laughs> Butterfly Intensia. It had a whole display rack thing, so I thought I'd give it a try. What I found is the brush, the brush actually looks like something out of Star Trek, like some sort of pilot-y thing. So, I am not wearing any mascara, we're going to apply to one eye. I'm really bad at this, I'm just, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna put myself in the eye. Here's what I found. I don't know if you can see. So now that I've used the Death Calm 3, I don't know what you want to call it. <laughs> this um, Butterfly Intensia, I really hate it. I don't know if you can see, but because um, I have the shortest eyelashes ever known to man, it's just really clumping. I would not recommend it at all. The one that I do really like is Smashbox Full Exposure really great mascara the only downside to this is i'm gonna put some on so you can see the difference um i find that it it, it lengthens my insanely short lashes but it also never clumps and um can you see that it's like you need a microscope to see my eye you're just gonna have to trust me on this um i just like this one much better look at it <laughs> My stubs. Can you see my stubs? How do people do this? I don't know how people do this. I'm gonna poke myself in the eye. Woo! Anyway, we're going with it. We're just, we're just, I'm not stopping. I got stuff to do today. Okay, so, um, anyways. I don't know if you can see, but it's just, it's a lot less clumpy. And so... I like Smashbox Full Exposure, but absolutely my favoriteest favoriteest is this old school green cover girl. It's waterproof and I buy the like black brown. I'm a crier when I laugh. Like I'm always like ha ha cackling and tears are running down my face multiple times a day. And so I need something that's really going to stay and I like rub my eyes. I always look like a raccoon or like a I've had a really rough night or <laughs> like in the middle of the day when I wear mascara. So my, if I'm going out and I'm gonna make sure it's not a wedding where I'm gonna cry or I'm not gonna have any fun and laugh, I really like Smashbox. Otherwise, my boring old cover girl because it doesn't run, it stays put. I don't look like raccoon eyes. And so if I'm gonna do a mascara review, I'm sorry, crazy butterfly, you're getting a negator. Besides your brush kind of looks terrifying, you clump and you run. And um, Smashbox I do recommend, and good old fashioned, tried and true, even when I'm on the boat or going swimming, this baby stays in place. Gotta love my old fashioned green cover girl. So, uh, thanks for coming to see some of uh, my makeup reviews, Baby Lips, probably my new favoritest makeup product. Definitely, I recommend giving it a try and check out um, Jamie's channel. She's doing some organizing today, so that's gonna be fun to see, and all her other reviews. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'm not being paid to endorse any of these products. Just thought it would be fun to show you guys something new, do a channel switch. Anyways, we'll see you next time. Da, da, da. <laughs> you may be fancier, but I will defeat you. Pew, pew, pew.